Auzubillahimineshshaitwanirrajim, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So we are starting the statement of cash flow. And this, first of all, we have objectives and scope. And the objective, the basic objective is to ensure that the companies reports their cash generation and cash absorption in a way which help provide information to assist user who making who make economic decision based on the accounts. Basically, what we are supposed to do here. हमें ये बताना होगा कि पैसे कहाँ से आ रहे हैं ताकि शेयर होल्डर्स को पता लगे या जो यूजर्स हैं स्टेटमेंट के उनको पता लगे कि पैसे आए कितने हैं और पैसे वो आए हैं तो किधर गए हैं तो बेसिकली दैट इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग अबाउट दिस स्टेटमेंट द क्वालिटी ऑफ इनकम इज प्रोवाइडेड बाई द कैश फ्लो स्टेटमेंट यू नो इनकम स्टेटमेंट गिव यू प्रॉफिट्स और लॉस राइट बट दैट इज बेस्ड ऑन सर्टन एजम्शन बट इन दिस केस absolutely cash coming in and cash going out so there is no as such assumption in this particular case so stakeholders want to see whether the entity is generating enough cash to meet the operation needs of the entity you are buying selling goods and services so first of all see whether you are generating enough cash to pay off your goods and services similarly the sale and sale is supported by the let's say staff admin staff or marketing staff so it is enough money generated by those people then similarly the tax is being paid interest is being paid so we want to see the the uh, stakeholder want to see whether the enough money is being created by the operation not by selling some assets no by the operation by general business you are doing cfa Uh, indicates whether the entity is increasing its capacity adding more non current assets or selling them by looking these statements one can see whether assets are being added i'm talking about non current assets which is capacity building so whether the company is building their capacity going for further or they are selling of it because if they are selling then it is in flow but when they are buying it it is outflow so similarly we have number of uh, plant equipment machinery we will see how they are moving whether they are increasing or whether they are going out so then we have some investments long term investments we must see whether the long term investments are increasing that you are putting investments into long term business or you are selling those investments so we must see that how, what is the movement of this uh, investing activities so that is also then cash flow provide information whether the more capital or loans are added or paid off usually when we borrow money money is coming in so it is in flow but when you repayment it's an outflow so we have to see whether the company is raising more money by the lo uh, loans or yeah they are simply paying back or maybe they are issuing shares or maybe they are paying dividends so this is how they have to see in this objective now usefulness of cash flow statement the entity's ability to generate future cash flow koi bhi business ho agar wo future ke liye cash flow generate nahi karta hai to wo survive nahi kar sakta to entity ability to pay dividends and meet obligation agar company शेयर होल्डर्स को डिविडेंड पे नहीं करती है तो भी बिजनेस जो है ना ज्यादा अरसा चल नहीं सकता है क्योंकि शेयर होल्डर फिर आपके शेयर बेचना शुरू कर देंगे और मार्केट में आपके शेयर की वैल्यू जो है ना वो कम हो जाएगी द रीजन फॉर द डिफरेंस बिटवीन नेट इनकम नेट कैश फ्लो फ्रॉम ऑपरेशन दैट इज एन अदर इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग एक्चुअली वॉट वी डू इन प्रैक्टिस वी नीड टू रिकनसाइल द टू दैट इज द प्रॉफिट इंक्रीजिंग वाई नॉट इट इज बींग सपोर्टेड बाई द कैश इंक्रीज that is the important thing so we need to see then the cash and non cash investing and financing transactions during the period now in this case it happens sometime that you are adding an asset long term assets i am talking about but you are not paying cash immediately you might be borrowing money and that money is going to be used or 
समटाइम वी आर एडिंग एन एसेट्स बट वी आर सिंपली गिविंग दैम सम शेयर अगेंस्ट इट सो डू रिमेंबर हीयर दो दी एसेट्स आर इंक्रीजिंग एंड सिमिलरली शेयर कैपिटल इज इंक्रीजिंग बट देर इज नो मनी कमिंग इन तो हियर वी आर absolutely looking for the money coming in and money going out now the question is if such a thing happens so where to we report this that your assets are increasing and the share capital is increasing but there is no money coming so in this case we have to give a notes to the cash flow statement that there is a transaction is a significant transaction where the we are buying the assets and we are issuing the shares now there is cash and cash equivalents the most important item in this statement is cash and cash equivalents in fact everybody knows what is cash but here we are talking about cash in hand cash in petty cash anywhere the cash involved cash at head office or cash in the factory or total cash in hand similarly we got number of bank account so we have all those bank accounts they are also cash now if they can be a positive they can be some negative you mean there can be some overdraft as well so we need to show how the cash cash and cash equivalents is reconciled because at the beginning of the year you have a certain amount of money now towards the end of the year how much money is there and what's the difference that difference actually is being taken care by the statement of cash flow now cash equivalents are short term liquid investments short term liquid investment basically and any amount any investment which which can be materialized which can be sold out which can be recovered in terms of money within next 3 months and without any loss that if you are certain that okay, the money will be coming within 3 months time so we say it's a short term investments which are subject to and insignificant change in value when there is no change in value then we have cash in fact the cash we call it is a king because if profit is life to a company then cash is oxygen unless a business generate enough cash it cannot survive thank you very much